a lot of experiences or a lot of seminars attended and trainings you can share your knowledge to your colleagues at school or your subordinates and then um, conduct uh, trainings there at your school in order to provide them the technical assistance that they want in order for them to be enhanced and uh, to understand and to know their their weakness on how they are going to improve and develop it so kung ikaw ay isang guro na merong kasanayan so you have to share order to have our objectives, our goal on how we are going to conduct our TA to our uh, respected teachers. Okay, so ngayon ipapakita ko sa inyo yung ginawa kong technical assistance plan at ito na po siya. So encode to the rows and columns the intended data. So, ang gagawin nyo lang po is mag-encode lang po kayo dito sa teacher objective, needed support TA mechanisms, intervention, mode of TA in the new normal, school TA provider, time frame, concerned functional division, and status. So, kung nakikita nyo po, na-encode ko na po yung mga details or mga information sa aking technical assistance plan. So, punta tayo dito sa teacher So, nakikita nyo naman yung teacher. So, ilagay nyo po dito yung uh, name of the teacher. Kung sino po yung technical assistance ninyo. Tapos, pag nalagay nyo na yung name, proceed po kayo sa objective. So, halimbawa, kung gusto mo siyang um, tulungan sa kanyang instructional materials, kung paano gawin, tsaka mahina siya doon na part sa paggawa ng mga visual aids, sa kanyang klase, so you need to assist or help teacher in making instructional materials to be used in his class. Okay, so pwede po dyan babae at lalaki kung sino po yung teacher na gusto ninyo. Tsaka meron din tayo dito uh, to help him improve his creativity in doing instructional materials. So yan po yung dalawa kong objective na nilagay para sa paggawa ng mga instructional materials when a teacher is a uh, weak in making instructional materials. So, punta tayo sa needed support, TA mechanisms. Discuss the usefulness of instructional materials inside the classroom and how it can get the attention of the pupils. Sorry, attention of the pupils. So, yan po yung needed support natin. So, if we, we are uh, well experienced po sa ating paaralan or sa ating school, we need to to mentor or to talk about the instructional materials to our uh, teacher who is in need of uh, making these instructional materials because they need support and help. Then, sharing of teaching experiences happened in the past of all the instructional materials being created. So, kung meron kang mga instructional materials na nagamit noon, pwede mong ma ma-share sa kanya, tsaka bigyan mo siya ng ideya and knowledge and uh, might be meron din siyang uh, idea on how he or she will improve the instructional materials you've introduced to him or her. In order that the teacher will have an idea on how he would make his material more improved and enhanced. So para din makatulong po sa kanyang kapayahan na baguhin or improve na merong changes sa kanyang instructional materials. So we need to um, share our knowledge and experiences to a teacher who needs help in making instructional materials. So intervention, ito naman yung gagawin mo. So, uh, pwede mo siyang gawin sa LAC session, in-service training, 
tutorials, either actual or virtual. And lastly is yung discussion. So, dyan mo uh, gagawin yung mga uh, gusto mong uh, iparating sa teacher. So, pwede siya sa LAC and service or whatever. Basta natutulungan mo siya, uh, you are giving a hand to your co-teacher or to your colleague. Mode of TA in the new normal. So, we have, um, since uh, we are in the middle of pandemic, we can make use of Google Meet meeting or face-to-face -face conference. So, parang okay na naman ngayon. We are just going to follow the IATF safety protocols. We can have the face-to-face -face conference. Pero pag uh, malayo or we cannot able to have, we can make use of the Google Meet or other social medias to reach him or her. Then, school TA provider natin, of course, yung ating uh, school head. Kung sino yung school head ninyo, na magti-TA sa inyong teacher or sa iyo. So, ilagay nyo dyan ang pangalan. Huwag kalimutan yung uh, school technical assistance provider. Then, time frame. So, importante yung time frame. So, January 3, halimbawa lang to ha. Ah. January 3 to 25, 2022. This is every Wednesday only. So, every Wednesday kayo makikita ng iyong school head in order to discuss about the objective about the the thing that you are weak or a difficulty you are encountering. Then we have here concerned functional division for referral. Okay, so meron tayo nitong uh, bigay natin ay yung school. Okay, so this is the school. Huh? This is just only for example. So maybe we can have here um, um, Jose uh, elementary school, ganyan. So, alimbawa, change natin yung district. Um, uh, tigas. Tigas district, uh, elementary level po siya, yan. So, sa elementary level lang talaga siya. So, we can also have there, if uh, secondary po yung ano, ititiin ninyo, you can have secondary level. Then, yung pinakahuli, which is the ninth column, uh, is the status. So, it is implemented. Meaning to say, na TA mo na yung teacher tsaka na natulungan mo na siya kung paano gagawin yung mga instructional materials tsaka paano ma-develop at ma-enhance yung kanyang creativity upon doing the instructional materials inside the classroom para naman makuha yung mga attention ng mga bata kung siya ay nagkaklase or magkakandak pa lang ng klase. So that is how you are going to make technical assistance plan. So this will be your plan to your teacher who is needing a help in a difficulty of their functions. And then sa baba, meron tayong prepared by. So ilagay dyan kung sino yung nag-prepare um, of course, yung school head or either the teacher or what. Then, yung name of the school, huwag yung ilagay, huwag yung uh, kalimutan ilagay pala. Yung pangalan ng school. So, halimbawa, lagay natin dito, Jose. Elementary school, tsaka yung division. So, kanina yung ginamit ko is tigas. Yan. So, you have now already the technical assistance plan. So, wala na kayong uh, problema. Ito na yung um, template ng technical assistance plan ko. So, kung gusto mo siyang um, um, kung gusto mo siya, uh, pwede mo siyang ma, ma, ano, ma-download or either uh, pwede mo rin gamitin tong template ko. Rather. Okay. So, ganyan siya. So, madali lang siyang gawin yung technical assistance plan. So, yan lang po at maraming salamat.